Well, hello guys, it's Laser TV here, and this time we're re remaking the review of Tahu Master of Fire from Lego Bionicle. And uh, I'm sorry, I don't have the box. It's ripped open and thrown away. It is 70787, ages 8 to 14, with 88 pieces, Lego Bionicle Tahu Master of Fire. I've already reviewed this set when I got it back in like December, but I had built it wrong. According to some of you, um, who had just had to point that out. But yeah, um, going through the instruction book before we get to um, to the much better review. I actually built it right. Um, this is like the third time. And you always say for new people who are getting into Bionicle, may not get it first right the first time. But yeah, um, it is put together right. Because that actually does hold its place. All the arms hold its place, hold their positions, and you can see all of the sets which I will be getting soon. I will be getting all of these because I am making a Bionicle series. And, um, yeah, and you see Lloyd on the back, and yeah, now let's get on to the Skull Spider and the Mask of Fire. Alright, so here is the Mask of Fire and Skull Spider. And the Skull Spider is very basic. Um, it doesn't come with the uh, hook thing on the back there, but it does it clip onto Tahu. This kind of reminds me of the brains from Hero Factory. Um, and as you can see, it's just very basic in the lime green color. Um, and then we got the Mask of Fire that goes on Tahu's mask, or on Tahu's face, which I'll show you later. And... Um, yeah, um, it's very cool. Now let's get on to the actual set. And here he is. Here it is. Tahu, Master of Fire. And before we um, get to him, he just has a surfboard, which I'll show you uh, the functions of it in a second. But let's get on to the uh, figure himself. But it does have some cool flame pieces, I will tell you that, that are useful from Hero Factory. And uh, here is Tahu himself. And the feet are pretty cool, but it's a weird way to um, armor him up. And he has those silver metallic gunmetal gray um, feet. And um, going up here, we got some side armor pieces, which is very nice. I like how this is covered up in armor and not with loose spots, parts. And I um, like this chest piece. It's printed. And... Um, I'm going to do something I didn't uh, do in the past, or maybe not, but uh, without ripping the thing apart, um, try to attempt to show how this is fit together. Um, you can see just how it's fit together there. Um, I'm not going to take the back off, that's just ripping the thing apart. But yeah, um, you can see the inner workings of Tahu. And the only piece that I was missing, really, was this thing right here. I mean, that's the only one I was missing. But yeah, very nice, indeed. Um, and on the sides here, we got some armor, which is very nice. And um, got some golden armor played right there. And I like these new molded pieces. And yeah, and the same in the back. Or the other side, then we get to this side. Um, we do get these blades for Tahu to get, um, put in his back there. There's a way to put it in the back. And nice armor there. And you see this, I'll show you this in a minute. You can put the, uh, blades in Tahu's hands. And, uh, yeah, uh, it's pretty cool there. And uh, you can get some pretty cool sword action there with him. And uh, yeah, and on the back here, you notice this gear. And uh, let's snap that back in there. That um, you gotta have this right. Most of you um, fans will get this right. Um, it does pretty well. I like it. 
And this time it holds its position for accurate poses because I fixed it according to the instructions. And um, you got to keep in mind I'm pretty new of a Bionicle fan there. Um, but yeah, um, it keeps its um, position pretty well for a set made pure of Technic. And they've done a pretty good job adding all the friction into it to keep it that way. And the feature for the golden mask is you see this green thing or blue thing here. You just pop it off and you can see the skull. You can just replace the mask. There's a good look at the mask in red. And uh, just take the golden mask of fire. You also do this with the uh, skull spider which I, as I will show you. And uh, um, you can see that is very nice indeed. Um, it's very nice to get that. I'll show you now how to uh, put um, Skull Spider on. Alright, so the Skull Spider here um, has these pins in the back, just like the masks. And um, you just clamp it on, like so. And then you have. And then it kind of falls apart there, as you saw. Um, but, uh, yeah, you get the point. It clips on like that. It, it does a very good job of doing so. And it's very tight. Um, but yeah. Um, and the one last feature of the set is you can also put these in that thing, but I don't feel like taking the swords out. And, yeah, you can also put Tahu on his surfer fireboard. Um... One disadvantage is it's hard to put, um, wait, maybe, maybe not, um, let me just get it on here, but yeah, he can surf pretty well, um, on fire with the surfboard, but yeah, um, now that you've seen a better look at Tahu Master of Fire. Let's go on to the ratings. We'll on to the ratings for the set. And overall, I'm going to get this set a 10. I'm going to reconfirm it that it's a 10. Um, I know I've made the mistake of putting it um, um, I'm not doing well with it in the past since I've only had this for like two months. Shouldn't have been better. But, um, yeah, for a Bionicle set, this is a pretty good set. I definitely recommend to you this for the Toa fans. But yeah, overall rating, 10. So please come like, subscribe, and see you very soon. Bye.